Greetings and welcome to the Saturday Morning Vodcast Podcast. Get ready for 10 minutes of fun. Hey guys, how you guys doing out there? How are you Billy Bumblers? I'm doing all right. Going to dry off a little bit though first. I thought a fun thing for us to do this morning. I, I have a lot of other plans and things to do. Things I want to accomplish with, you know, the channel. But I find myself drawn to the podcast podcast. You may say, Mr. Oliveira, why? Why are you so drawn to it? It's the ease of, of duplication and production. Um, not the ease of it, because the, the, this part of it's fun. This is the, well, <laughs> not, maybe not the cleanup, but the part of it where I sit and I talk about things. Like, for example, today we're going to talk about old wives' tales. I've got about 10 or 11 here we're going to go over. And uh, just to bring them to light, if you didn't know about them, and to clarify whether they are real fact fiction or, or just bullshit altogether. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. But the thing is, I do have other things. I've got the sequestered video. That's right. That's the title of it. I just gave it away. Sequestered. Funny, because it's a play on words. <laughs> but as I was saying, there, there's a lot of stuff I need to, to really do as far as channel-wise is concerned. There's the new series I had planned for July, which is going to turn into about two or three episodes, because I just... I. A lot of times, like for example, I, I really wanted to do a video about cleaning the attic. I thought that'd be fun. The problem is, is that cleaning the attic requires all your focus. That's not what the, the, the plan is for July. I just can't talk about the plan for July until July 1st, if that gives you any hints. There's a little hint for you. But when you're trying to do whatever you're trying to do as well <laughs> as, as, as film it, it makes it much harder. That's why I really would love to live closer to home because I know I have friends that would help me out and we could work together to accomplish such amazing things. Um, so maybe we'll get there. Who knows? But for now, let's move on to actually, let me check this out. I think my wife texted me. She needs socks or something. Why, do you, why can't I get into my fucking phone? It's the glasses conundrum again. I need to get uh, prescription sunglasses. If you go out, can you bring me socks? Mine got wet today this morning. Of course I'll bring her socks. Watch. Let's do this together. Of course I'll bring you socks, sweetie. Period. Anytime you need socks, comma, you just let me know. Period. I find that all my conversations go that way now, whether I'm talking on, I'm mostly on the phone. If I have to leave a message for someone, you're getting periods and commas and I'm giggling and I'm going to try to explain it to you in a quick fashion that I'm an, an idiot. <laughs> Old wives tales. Peeing on a jellyfish sting alleviates pain. Is that real or not? Uh, millions of blah, blah, blah. I didn't really read any of this. I figured we'd just read it together, you know? I'll edit it. Don't worry. You're not going to sit here while I read the whole thing. Or maybe you will. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Stinging on a fish. Tentacles injecting. Venom in the skin. After getting stung. Rather than heading straight to the bathroom. Don't use fresh water. Because that can cause more uh, venom to be released. So that one is not true. <laughs> I could have just read the first paragraph. But I read all this shit I didn't need to read. All right, let's move on. Old wives' tales. You can't swim after eating or you may drown. I, I think this is... Yeah, that's not actually true. That's dumb. People are dumb. <laughs> people believe dumb things for a very long time. One of these on the list I knew, I've known about for years, and people still, still come up to me and they're like, you know, I'm just going to... Let, let me let the cat out of the bag. You use 100% of your brain. You do not use 10% of your brain. Every human who has a functioning brain uses 100% of it. There's no little hidden areas that we need to unlock. We use all of it. Little pieces and bits go here, and that's like a computer. You might not be using it all of it all at the same time, but it's there to access when you need it. Stop believing it. It's wrong. It's just wrong. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, don't go swimming anyway, because you drown and die. That's, that's, you stay out of the ocean, don't eat fish, don't eat anything that comes out of the ocean, we'll all be okay. Be nice to our ocean aquatic dwelling creatures, and when they decide to uprise, when the dolphins, I'm telling you, one of these days, dolphins, porpoises, the porpoises, <laughs> some sharks maybe, they might, you know, team up, it's over for us. I mean, if we stay on land, we're fine, but, you know, they get into the water molecules in the air, into our lungs, that's how they get you with the 5G. All right. <clears throat> if you're carrying high, it's a girl. If you're carrying low, it's a boy. Uh, that That's not true, whether whether, you, whether it's true or not, because, uh, hang on, let's just find out. Uh, any expecting parents, sex, 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 adding sex to suspense sex, nine month sex journey, <laughs> yet even the strongest. Wife, sex, anticipation, uh, gaga, blog, blog. Okay, we're getting some messages here. It's just a sock reply. After that beautiful, sweet reply, all I got was an LOL. <laughs> Although she is working and she's not supposed to be on her phone. And there she is again. <laughs> Can you grab another pair of sneakers? Absolutely, my sweet princess, period. Anything for you, exclamation point. Do you want a coffee on the way? Question mark. I would be doing these things even if I wasn't filming right now. I just think it's kind of funny that you get to see my actual life leaking into the vodcast podcast. It's not like I don't, and it's not like this isn't my life anyway, but. Uh, okay, I might get a copyright strike for all these songs that I'm humming away to, so I'm going to stop it. Yeah, I'm not even going to read this one. I know it's not real because I've known people who've carried low and had a girl. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Everybody just shut the fuck up with their old wives tales. It's so easy to confirm or deny nowadays. All of these I have confirmed or denied on my own. And you can do the same, but I'm doing it for you today. So you don't have to. Old wives tale. If you cross your eyes for too long, they will get stuck that way. Let's find out. Uh, and the verdict is that it is bogus. It is bogus. Cross your eyes till you're blue in the face. You want to stare at a light, cross at your eyes. You want to stare at the sun and cross your eyes. I don't recommend it. You'll probably go blind, but they'll never get stuck that way. Dr. J to the rescue. Okay, old wives tale. Bees are only attracted to the color, color yellow. I have never heard this before in my entire life. I do remember when I was a kid, they were off and on. Which is, okay, so here, here's a little public service announcement for you. If you have dandelions in your yard, try to keep them around as long as possible. If you're mowing your yard, I know sometimes our yard gets covered, absolutely covered. Uh, we go through these cycles where it's uh, dandelions until it gets mowed, and then these little purple flowers come up. I'm not sure exactly what they are. Maybe I'll put it on a screen somewhere. And then they get mowed. And then buttercups come up, and then they get mowed. And then we get these white flowers that come up. It is the craziest thing that goes in cycles every year. I don't know if that's going to change because a lot of things of the climate have been changing here. But bees, when they are going to pollinate that very first time in the spring, those are the first things that come up usually is the dandelions. And that's what they go to. And bees are really making the planet run. So... Let's leave the dandelions alone. Let them get their pollinating done, and then you can mow them all you want. I don't know. I don't know what you, I don't know what the best answer is. Just leave dandelions alone if you can. Early spring for bees and for us, the whole human race. There are people dying. Bulls hate the color red. No, they. I believe they may be colorblind, um, and so it's the motion, it's the movement. If if a bull in a field is staring you down, if you stay still, it'll probably walk away. <laughs> it might. Don't. I mean, don't take my advice on that one. However, if you run, it's going to come after you because that's what's drawing its attention. Much like us, if I was standing in a field and all of a sudden a bull started running across the field, or if I was staring down a bull and a sudden take, well, no, I guess that doesn't make sense because I wouldn't chase after the bull. Why would I chase a bull? Unless I had minotaur questions, I don't know. Okay, uh, five second rule. I don't even know what this is. I mean, if you drop something on the ground, you probably shouldn't eat it. Like, if it's a super clean surface that you're aware of, go for it. If you're me, take it out of the trash and eat it. I have eaten so many things out of the trash. This is true. This is a fact that you may have heard about me as a rumor. If I someone, if someone at work finishes half their sandwich if, that they just ordered, paid $12, $15 for, and there's a few fries and maybe some dip left in there of some sort, and it goes in the trash, within you know 30 seconds of me seeing it, I'm like, oh, is there any food in there? I take it out. There's food in there. It's still warm. I'm keeping it. I'm going to eat it. Maybe not so much these days, but I, I, I've always thought that was a crazy thing. Like germs, I've never been a germaphobe. Like I do enjoy keeping, keeping my hands clean. I hate getting food and tackiness. It, it, it's more of a tactile thing. Like I don't like to feel things on my hands, even water. Like after I've got them 
washed, I want them dry as quickly as possible. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's some weird fear or something out there you can look up for me and I'll, I'll slap it in the next video. But um, yeah, I don't like having especially food on my hands, but dirt, dirt's okay if I'm working outside, but I, if it starts getting cakey and like wet or something, got to get it cleaned right away. Dry it up, go back to work. It takes seven years to digest a piece of gum. That's dumb. You're going to poop it out. Like, it, it, even if it doesn't get digested, you're going to poop it out. Like, it's not just going to sit in there. It's not going to get stuck to something. You're all liquids and oogies inside. It slides around. It's a fucking piece of gum. The funny thing is, is between all of these uh, old wives' tales in this list, there is an advertisement. And every advertisement is a T-shirt that I looked at the other day on Macy's.com because I had... Uh, $20 credit for Macy's, which I had until, I think it's today. I should probably look. Um, but like shipping was like 11 bucks on and just about everything I put in the car. I was like, oh, I'll get a scale. I've been losing weight. I kind of want to track it a little bit better. You know what? Maybe I'll get a nicer scale, something Bluetooth, and I can measure my BMI and all this, and my BPIs and my AT&Ts and my CBDs and my THCs and my LSDs. Coffee stunts your growth. Caffeine present in coffee will not affect children's growth patterns. There you go. Let your kids drink all the fucking coffee they want. That is weird, huh? I guess caffeine probably wouldn't be great, especially for children who already have way too much energy, but, but uh, kids can drink that. Don't go outside with wet hair, you'll catch a cold. Okay, so uh, this is something I've known since I was a little kid. It's something you learn in science, probably about second, third, fourth grade, or at least in my my education. I am still soaked to the bone here. It's all right. It's a hot day. I'm not ice cream. I won't melt. You can't catch a cold. The only thing it can do is lower your immune system. If you go out and you have wet hair, you know, it's going to affect your immune system because it's going to have to work harder to keep you warm. It's, it's doing, your body's doing a lot of work at that point. If you go out bundled up, you know, your body doesn't have to do as much work. It doesn't have to regulate temperature or anything like that because you're comfortable. You're warm. You can't catch a cold because a cold is a virus or a germ. Yeah, it's a virus. A cold is a virus, just like this pandemic. You can't catch a cold because you go out and lie down, you know, naked in the snow. You're going to get sick, probably of hypothermia or something, but you're not going to get a cold. And that's always driven me crazy. Like, that just makes sense to me. I don't know why so many people don't. I get angry over the dumbest things. I need the goose raba. Foods with mayonnaise will spoil faster. Eh, that's not always true, I guess. Don't really care. Don't eat a lot of mayonnaise-based things. Uh, that's not true. I do eat some. Feed a cold, starve a fever. I don't really want to read this one because I don't want to know the truth because it makes me feel better. <laughs> uh, the old hair of the dog. Okay, apparently that doesn't work either. You know what? You know, we could go on all day with these, but I'm going to cut it off here, and that'll leave us something to do on another video, maybe next week sometime. So next week, the first, the first thing out the gate, I really want to do probably either Monday or Thursday. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are always my busy days with work. I want to do the paint. I want to do an overhead, and I want to do a straight-on shot, and I want to give you guys a good look at what I'm doing with the Iron Giant. Um, I've never done anything like this on plastic, so I can't promise you that this is going to be an amazing video. When I started thinking about doing it today, I was like, oh, I'll do it early, and I'll get it out. I cleaned off the table. I got everything ready to go, and then I was like, shit, you know what? I want to experiment a little bit before I go you know, cold with this <laughs> and film it. So if you guys love watching these as much as I'm loving making them, tune in next week for a bunch of cool shit. And then consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is the Vodcast Podcast, and I'll catch I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care, and boy howdy. Ha, ha, ha.